Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to the desert. Nick and I are out camping and today I'm gonna show you how I clean my dishes when I'm camping. This is probably the most highly requested video from you guys and so I'm gonna show you how I do it in the system that works for me. Keep in mind that you can adapt to this and add things on or, or whatever to fit you and your needs, your water availability, your group size, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you kind of two ways that I do this and all of the gear that I pack. Nick and I just had breakfast, so we have some dishes. We don't have a lot of dishes, <laughs> but enough to kind of show you my system. As you'll see, I don't do any sort of official sanitizing step, as in packing bleach or some other chemical to like officially really sanitize my dishes. You can add that on if that's something that concerns you, but I don't like the idea of traveling with bleach or using bleach or chemicals out here that could potentially splash on someone. And so like, I don't do that stuff at home, so I don't do it camping either, but that's just an example of something that you can add on to this system that I'm gonna show you. So one of the things that I think is important to know is that minimizing your dishes actually starts, I think, at home. So as you guys know, I do tons of camp cooking content on this channel and I'm really big into planning. And so I plan out my meals for a camping trip at home and I do a lot of prep work for certain meals at home so that I can minimize the dishes and things that I need to use when I'm actually out camping. So a little bit of prep at home will actually save you a lot of dishes when you're at camp. Let's dive into what gear I actually bring to clean and why. First of all, you're gonna need some soap. So I have biodegradable camp soap, really easy to find at gear stores or at Walmart. And I'll link to this stuff in the description below, all the gear that I'm gonna show you. But these are just two different brands, examples. It's really concentrated, biodegradable camp soap. So you need that. You're gonna need a little sponge. I have the Scour Daddy with these nice little smiley faces. And it has a loop here so I can hang it when I'm done so it can dry, which is really nice. This is also designed to be a little bit firmer in cold water and then a little bit softer in hot water, so it's kind of nice. And then I always also have this pot scraper and I'll use this to scrape off bits of food that might be stuck on my plates or my bowls before I start cleaning, we'll go over that. And then we have a kitchen sink option. This is the first one that I bought. It's Sea to Summit Kitchen Sink, the five liter. And I originally bought this because I loved how compact and small this was and I just, I was like, oh, this is perfect. I don't wanna carry something big and bulky. So it pops out like this and they make a, a, a bigger size, but I will be honest with you, I do not like actually using this thing. This is a little bit too small, I would say for my needs. So maybe I would like it more if I got the bigger one, but it just is hard to work with. When you put water in it, it just kind of sloshes around and I don't know, I just don't love it. So while I think it's great and compact, it's not, my first choice. So I also have these kitchen sinks and I have two of them because I'm gonna show you kind of a system with using one and then a system with using two. These are really cool because oh, <laughs> they pop out into this little good size sink and it has a drain thing here. So you can kind of catch some food bits in there. So it has a drain, it's a good size. It, I like that it, it at least folds down a little bit and they are somewhat stackable. So fold that down and then it kind of can nestle on top. Obviously it's not as compact as something like this, but I think these work a little bit better and they have handles and, and all that stuff. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to use today. And then I have a towel. I like to use a microfiber towel because it dries really quickly and this one has a little handle again so I can just hang it on a tree. I don't know where my smaller one is, but yeah, just a microfiber towel dries really quickly. And um, so that's the stuff that I'm gonna be using to show you how to clean your dishes before you actually get your hands all wet and soapy and start cleaning, you want to make sure that your dishes are pretty free of any sort of food bits. You really eat all of your food and then you can use something like this pot scraper or even a piece of paper towel just to kind of scrape off any food bits into your trash and get your plates kind of ready to be washed so that we don't have a ton of food 
left in our gray water when we're done. These plates, since we just had egg sandwiches, they don't need that step, but it's really easy. You, know, you just kind of scrape off the bits. I'm sure you get it, put it in the trash, and now we are ready to wash. One more thing that I wanna say before we actually start is, for me, there's a difference between clean and camping clean. <laughs> and so I'm going for camping clean here. So my first bin is going to be my wash bin. This is where I'm gonna put uh, the soap and really actually wash everything. You can do cold water. I prefer to do warm water, but I don't always do that. It kind of just depends on the situation, especially in the colder months. Having warm water in here to wash your dishes is so nice, and it tends to be easier to get to wash when it's warm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my cold water in here, and then I'm gonna boil some water to put in here and make it nice and warm. This is going to be my wash bucket, and then I'm gonna pop this one out, and this is gonna be my rinse bucket. And Sometimes I don't use a rinse bucket and I'll show you how I do this if I only have one bucket or if water isn't too much of a, a, of a limitation. If you don't have a lot of water, I think having a second bucket will save you water. And if you have a bigger group with a lot of dishes, having two buckets, I think will just make it a little bit easier to clean. But sometimes if it's just me and Nick and I only have a plate and a fork, I'll just do the one bucket system, which I will, I will show you today as well. But for right now, we got the wash and the rinse. I'm gonna get the hot water boiling and get some cold water in here so that we can create some warm water. So I have my water here. If you're at a campground, you can just use water from the campground. Okay. And I wanna try to use as little water as possible. And then I'm gonna get my boiling water. And like I said, you don't have to do the, the boiling water or the to make this warm water, but it is more enjoyable to clean your dishes when the water is warm. And then I'm gonna fill my rinse bucket with just some cold, clean water. Now we are ready to wash. I'm gonna add some of my camp soap into this hot bucket. Just a little bit there, a bit more. And get it all. All right, and then in goes our dishes. That one. And I take my sponge and just clean dishes like you would at home. All right, so once I've scrubbed it, then it goes into our rinse bucket. And I just rinse it off. And put it right on this towel. You get the idea, it's pretty simple. Now, what if you don't have this rinse bucket or you know, you, you just don't have a lot of dishes really to where you, you need to kind of fill up a whole nother bucket? So what I'll do is I will take my wash bucket and wash my items and just set them aside like this. And then I'll take my wash bucket and I'll put it under my water spout. And then I'll use this to catch any rinse water and I'll just kind of rinse it like this into the bucket. So now we have our dishes that are all clean and ready to go. I think the most sanitizing option is to let them air dry and you can get, even get a big mesh bag and put all your dishes in there and just hang it from a tree and let it air dry. I never <laughs> wait around for it to air dry. So I'm just gonna use my towel to dry them off so that I can store them.
And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's really simple. This system works really well for me and you can kind of adapt it to, depending on how much water you have. Like I said, there's a couple ways that you can kind of work with this system. Now, when I'm done, I'll take my rinse water and I'll pour it into my wash bucket and just let this dry. And now I'm gonna dispose of this gray wash water appropriately according to like park or campground regulations. If you're at a campground, typically there are gray water stations where you can just go and dump this water in there. It's super easy, that is definitely the easiest and best way to do it. If you're somewhere that doesn't have a gray water disposal area, definitely check the regulations for the area that you're in. You wanna make sure that there's no food bits in here. And again, scraping off your plates and making sure that your plates are just kind of clean of those food bits before you start, kind of ensures that there's not too much in here. I am out here in the desert, so I'm going to disperse it or kind of spray this gray water. It's kind of counterintuitive to do it that way, but that just actually is the least amount of impact on the land. So that's how I'm gonna do it here. But if you're in bear country, for example, you might need to bury it. So checking on those regulations in the area that you're going is gonna be important. And then you also wanna dispose of this water away from your campsite and away from streams and rivers and water sources. So the general rule of thumb is about 200 feet away from those water sources. So that's kind of it. I'm gonna get rid of this now. After I've gotten rid of this water, I'm just gonna let this dry as well. And in general, I try to use the same bin for wash and the same bin for rinse every single time. So that's my simple system for cleaning dishes when I'm out camping. Like I said in the beginning, you can kind of adapt this system to work for you and your needs and water availability, your group size, stuff like that. But this is kind of, yeah, the general thing that works for me. I have my towel and my sponge hanging to dry and I'm gonna let these things just dry out in the sun and I'm good to go. Now I will say that there's sometimes, depending on the trip and the length and stuff, there's some things that I'll just kind of wait to clean at home. So for example, in the cooler, I have some sausage. I was cooking some sausage patties and they're in a little Tupperware. I'm just gonna leave that Tupperware, that dirty Tupperware, in the cooler sealed up because I have the space in there and I'm going home tomorrow. So I'll just clean that at home. Sometimes on these shorter two or three day trips, I'll just, yeah, make my life really easy and just clean that when I get home. It's perfectly fine just sitting in the cooler for another day. But stuff like this, plates, forks, spoons, things that I use at every single meal out camping, this is the system that I use. Again, depending on where you are, you'll have to dispose of the, the gray water differently. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Subscribe to the channel before you go if you're new here. I upload videos all the time about camping meal ideas, camping organization and tips and all the things to help you have an enjoyable and fun time outdoors. So I hope to see you in the next video. Oh. <laughs>